Today is December 17, 2012, 6 p.m. We'll have the invocation by Johnny De La Serra. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to come together in fellowship today. We ask that you guide our leaders and give them the strength and wisdom to make the right decisions, to make informed decisions, and to carry the city through a time of trial and tribulation. For in the book of James, you say that blessed are those who endure tribulation, for once they know that a faith has passed the test, then they will know the truth. Heavenly Father, we ask that you bless them and give them the courage and knowledge to make the right decisions today. In the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. We have established a quorum, Councilman Miller, Morones, Castillo, Guerrero, and Rodriguez. Will everyone now please stand for the U.S. Pledge of Allegiance and Texas Pledge? <coughs> I know it, it probably didn't occur. I, I was 
Now I'm going to say it was too late. And I'll see it on the agenda today. But again, those are two examples, I think. And again, it's, it seems to be a recurring <laughs> habit, if I can call it that, where we just simply put an item that's very, very general, couldn't read much into it, and then all of a sudden it comes up something very substantive that I think deserves being identified specifically. Now, what are the consequences of that? Well, at best, there is a misperception of hiding something in generalities for whatever purpose, maybe trying to avoid reaction. More importantly, if we have charges against us, then they, we have to defend ourselves. So here we are <coughs> having to spend money unnecessarily. If we planned it properly, we wouldn't have to do that. At worst, you know, if, if somebody charges us with, with doing that, violating the Open Meetings uh, Act, and they prevail, that would render the action null and void. And sometimes after the fact, that can be very, very difficult. Another thing, and I think just as important, we don't get to hear the people that have valid comments. We, we don't get that kind of feedback that could help us construct, I think, better judgments. We had some comments the last time over here, and I think they were very appropriate, and that was actually the, the, the meeting before. I think that, uh, which indicates to me the, the maybe not quite careful planning, but Mary Helen Deacon, you know, asked the question, which is going to lose us more money? Having the dance or, or, or dancing it now? Could, didn't have the figures from what I could get. Couldn't tell that we were going to do something. The other from uh, Ms. Newnham said, it's going to give us a black eye, and it's, it's going to make Floresville look bad doing that. And it has, you know, in a way. If you were at the, uh, and, and uh, good thing that, that uh, Former mayor at the house that took it upon himself to, to actually have the, the, uh, the dance out there. It was very good incidentally. I enjoyed it. Grace knows that I enjoyed it. I was out there dancing almost all of the, the dances. So obviously, you know, there was a lot of people that, that wanted that. We didn't hear from them. We probably would have if the items had been properly published. Uh, the other thing that uh, I wanted to address, and there's a couple more, uh, as pointed out by former <coughs> councilman Tony Jimenez, and I think most of you know, and he, he made a comment the last time he was here, and he pointed out something that I think is very real. I don't know, you know how true it is and whether it is a, a big problem, but it, there can be a misperception of problems. And that is that, that we don't seem to have diversity of views on the council that one person is doing all the presentations. And if you look at the agendas, you'll find that to be a fact. Now, is that a problem? I don't know. It would appear to me that it would be. Because we have five elected officials here that should be participating in, in all of the business of the city and, and uh, in the deliberation of the agenda. For example, all action items that, that have been seen here that require action have been presented by Jim Miller, Mr. Jim Miller. By the same token, all nominations to the boards and committees have been presented again by Mr. Jim Miller. It just seems like there's a lack of diversity in views or participation by, by people that we elect to take part in, in what's going on with the city. And, and, and on the boards, for example, I, I would wonder if all of you know the qualifications of some of the people that were nominated and placed on those boards. Not questioning their qualification myself, but would you? Particularly that last, uh, and I don't know what this called, a board or a committee or what, but the, the sports uh, foundation, we had like, what, seven names? I recognized only one. And, and again, I don't even know if they're eligible to be there, whatever the qualifications are. And I don't know if all the rest of you actually knew that. Let me, let me, well, I've got five minutes, I've got five minutes, i got five minutes. You can ten, you can get fifteen, we'll give you whatever you got to speak. Did you listen to me, you want to have to go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I, what I was going to say, uh, Mr. Morales, I'm going to stand here and wait for questions or answers for, for you, but 
there was a few counting by person. Which, which but, uh, do you, but how do you feel about little Joe bringing down the city of Florida? He might, I don't care about Mario because Mario is one vote. But how do you feel about little Joe bringing down this little town? Well, I, I didn't see it that way. And that's not the first time little Joe has done that. The last time he put it at the patio, he said for all the pinchones, come on in. Because they were all outside, they didn't want to come in. Do you remember that? Okay. Huh? Let, let what do you believe in little Joe about bringing down this town? I think this is irrelevant. Your conversation is irrelevant. Why is it irrelevant? I'm okay. It is irrelevant because my point that I'm making here has nothing to do with the little Joe. But let me say this. I do not appreciate anybody bringing down my town, including people right here. We didn't bring it down. We were looking out. I was looking. Let me tell you, Mr. Gonzalez. I was looking out for our city. When we, the only gift, the only thing they gave me was a paper saying we sold ten tables and ten thousand dollars. That's all they gave us. Okay. Now, I don't know who the responsibility is to give us all of that. I, I believe whoever would run it. I don't know who would run the show. People said that this was for cancer people. Then they said it was for kids. Uh, they, they said all kinds of things, and this never was never posted on these posters. All I knew is that the city was putting it on. But, but but what I'm saying is, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. But I I'm here elected to make sure that the people and the taxpayers are not going to spend a seventy dollar thing party and spend and, and lose fifty thousand dollars. Now little Joe, like I, I I'm not going to get into the little Joe thing because it's going to be a legal thing. But what I'm saying is, you didn't answer. Did you love Bill Joe out there? And the people that were there, like I said, I from out of town. I appreciate anybody turning down, button down on us. I love for Joe. I've been here all my life. I was born and raised here. And I will be here until I die. And, and I will always be thankful for it, Bill. And I will do it in front of anybody, including yourself. Okay, and about the board members, let's go back to the board members. The board members, you're not happy with the board members. But you were happy when they took my board members out when we were in the courtesy. Now, when they selected seven the, the last time around and the before that and before that, you were okay with it, weren't you? I had nothing to do with it. Oh, but you were fine though. You didn't have no complaint then. You didn't have a complaint with seven. You didn't have a complaint that they had nominated seven, right? I, I, it, 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 it was a problem there because it was a courtesy for over 40 years or, or since council been here. But did, you were okay with it, weren't you? What did you speak up the time that they did the seven against me? The three times that I've been here. Because I wasn't here. Uh, yeah. You were here. You've been on that board a month. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're getting way out of the subject. Yeah, you, you, you started with that answer. What I told you is exactly what I believe in. And, I and about, let me let the legal over here answer. Uh, remember the Paul Slack incident, Mr. Rosenberg? Do you feel that we were in the violating the charter? That's fine. And, we're here, and, I, and I asked the legal before we voted, before we did anything, I personally asked Mr. Rosenberg, are we okay with this? And legal said it was fine. Legal advice is you, you bear the responsibility. Well, we bear the responsibility, but we also have our legal to protect us. Okay. Uh, Chris, let me just address what you were saying about, uh, it seems like Mr. Miller has everything on the agenda. Uh, if I recall, when Mr. Miller was running for office, he had I believe it was 10 or so items that he was. It's called the bucket list. That he was wanted to do, right? So, you know, I've been here, what, three years, three and a half years now, and I think you, you, you know what I, that I, you, you know, take in citizens input, whatever. If Mr. Miller is right, I'll agree with him, but if he's wrong, he's wrong. Okay? So, but for you to say that. That's a misperception. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you my, my, my opinion. I'm not talking about opinion. I'm talking well, your perception. I'm giving you my. But uh, you know, we each have our own, uh, one vote. You know, we, if, 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 what any of us puts on the agenda, 
we either agree with it or we don't agree with it when it comes to a vote. So, although it might seem that James put everything on the agenda right now, it's because that's what he ran on. That was the platform he ran on. And, 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 and he's let the, the people that voted for him see what he's doing. You know? and, and if it's not right what he's doing, we're not going to agree with him. But he works for all of the citizens of Florida, not not only the ones that voted for him. Okay. Well, that's. But but you were but you were okay when the mayor was uh, running the whole show, weren't you? I'm okay. Huh? You know you were fine when they just said yes, yeah. no, yes. Yeah. You were fine with when the mayor was doing that one. No, no, and we're giving you an answer back. I mean, how did you feel when, when your dad was running? Answer my question now. How did you feel? When, how, how did you feel when your dad was running the show? Some way, what I'm giving you is Mr. Gonzalez. Mr. Gonzalez. Yes. We appreciate you your comments. Mr. Gonzalez. Excuse me, can I say something? Yes. You didn't get out and talk to me. The mayor was telling people, sit down. That was very rude. You didn't get up and defend us. But you haven't gotten up when these people do it? No, I haven't gotten up, but I see other people being seated down. And that is, this time belongs to everybody, to all of us. Of course. I mean, did I say this? And we all have to say so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the I appreciate that. I appreciate all your comments. Thank you. And now we're going to go on to number one, new business, consideration and action to take appropriate measures regarding the termination of contracts on the holiday extravaganza, which would be an executive session. And I'd like to see, do I have a motion on that? To go into executive session? Madam Mayor, do we also have to list the second item as um, going into executive session? I was going to read that, but okay. I have to have two motions. Two motions. Well, then I'll make the motion to go into executive session and take consideration and action to take appropriate measures regarding the termination of the contracts on the holiday extravaganza. Do I have a second? Take a second. We have a motion by Councilman Miller, second by Councilman Morones. All in favor? Aye. All, uh, motion passes 5-0. While we're in executive session, may I have a motion to discuss the following item, which is A, pursuant to section 551.074 of the Texas Government Code, personnel matters to deliberate the appointment, interim employment, employment, evaluation, reassignment, duties, discipline, or dismissal of a public officer or employee, city manager. And I'd like to make a correction that that was submitted by Jim Miller and myself. So may I have a motion on that? To make a motion that we go into executive session. Uh, pursuant to section 551.074 of the Texas Government Code, Code of Personal Matters to Deliberate the Appointment, Interim Employment, Evaluation, Reassignment, Duties, Discipline, or Dispensable mm -hmm. Public Officer or Employee, City Manager. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Motion carries 5-0. We are now entering into executive session. 